I'm Nora Jaskowiak and I am a surgical oncologist and the head of the Breast Center here at the University of Chicago. I finished medical school in 1991, completed my residency in 1998, and became a practicing attending surgeon in the year 2001. So actually being the boss for about five and a half years. I was attracted to return to Chicago after training in San Francisco and in Boston for several reasons. The first, to come back to my great city. Um, and then, since the University of Chicago to me is the premier university and medical center in the city, it was natural. People might say that if you psychoanalyze me, that this was a career that I was meant to do. There's a strong family history of breast cancer in my family, and my own mother had breast cancer when she was 40. But I would answer that I entered medical school with an open mind, we always knew I wanted to have something to do with cancer, and then decided to become a surgeon because I love the procedural aspects of surgery. And breast surgery is very amenable to a family lifestyle. So for me, that's how all the pieces came together. Of course, uh, every patient who comes is nervous. Nobody ever likes to come to the doctor in the first place, and certainly nobody likes to see a breast surgeon ever. But I think that the approach that we take in the breast center which is very friendly right from the start. I think when the patients are put into their room, we have a wonderful medical assistant who puts patients really at ease, and I think the whole staff works to keep uh, patients as comfortable as possible. There is, particularly for breast cancer and for breast issues, no cookie cutter sort of plan. Every plan has to be individualized. I would say that my approach personally is extremely patient-centered and this is not the same for every surgeon. I really like to talk to my patients and find out where they're coming from and whether I'm treating a patient for benign disease or for breast cancer to understand their needs. There are so many options in taking care of patients, particularly with breast cancer. I think that focusing on the individual patient what their expectations are and what their needs are is extremely important. So I spend a lot of time talking to patients to figure out the best way to take care of them. Uh, when a patient comes to the breast center here at the University of Chicago, I think they can expect to be, first of all, treated with kindness and respect, and then to have a lot of focus given to their individual problem or individual complaint and the expectation would be that they will be evaluated by the doctor in close collaboration often with a resident or fellow and then we'll have a thorough imaging workup um, with the review of their outside materials by our mammographers and usually additional views or additional imaging studies being undertaken a close review if there is outside pathology um, of that pathologic material and then a, a personalized plan laid out uh, for patients with benign disease uh, through conversations and for patients with cancer through the mechanism of the multidisciplinary conference to really lay out a full rounded plan um, that uh, we make a best recommendation, but also lay out options for the patient. I think that the University of Chicago Medical Center as a whole uh, has many excellent qualities. Within my own program, I think that the major thing is really the cooperation and the way that we work as a team. Um, we have every week a multidisciplinary breast cancer conference at which patients, new patients or patients who are under treatment are 
discussed with input from many different experts. And for me, I think that the fact we're all working together in the same institution, lines of communication are wide open. And I think communication between different specialists is really crucial, especially in more complex cases. And that is a major advantage of being in a setting like the University of Chicago where everybody is employed by the same employer, everybody has the same goal, which is to take the best care of the patient possible. When an individual patient comes to see us, we're all collaborating right from the start, from our operations manager and our nurses and the people at the front desk who help check in patients to the doctor then working with the nurse and also with residents since this is an academic institution. And as I mentioned earlier, the um, very fruitful collaboration and open collaboration that we have with mammography, there is no question to me that a patient benefits from that. I would have to say on a personal level that uh, I do a tremendous amount of communication with individual patients. And I have a very open phone policy and also email with patients. So that after a patient is seen, say, with a new diagnosis and additional workup is done, there is a very open communication with that patient via phone calls to me and uh, with my nurse um, and with other uh, treating physicians as the plan gets laid out for the patient. In the longer term, after a patient has been treated, of course, they're followed. Uh, the average breast cancer patient is followed for the rest of her life and we have a, a system in place in cooperation with the medical oncologists, the radiation oncologists, and the mammographers to really try to streamline that follow-up process uh, for the patient because we're all interested in the patient, care about the patient tremendously, but also realize that the patient does not want to be coming to the doctor constantly after you know, she's been treated for her condition and so we really try to work together collaboratively to follow the patient thoroughly but in a really streamlined fashion um, in the years that follow a diagnosis.